When you look at what makes people really feel alive, there's very few things that compete with growing and of course giving. And where does growth come from? First of all, without it, life feels pretty dead inside. We're all trying to mark something that gives us a sense of aliveness. People ask me all the time, what does it really take to be happy to? I can give it to you in one word, progress. Progress equals happiness. Did you ever achieve a goal and then after you achieve it said, is this all there is? And so you got to think to yourself, why don't I stay happy? I'm like, I work so hard at this. Why doesn't it stay fulfilled? Because life is not about you just getting your goals. My teacher, Jim Rose, used to say something that was so profound when I was 17 years old. He said, what you get will never make you happy. It doesn't matter what you get, who you become, that'll make you very happy or very sad. See, ultimately, we have challenges so that we can grow and we have growth so we have something to give. And it's the giving that makes us feel alive and the growing that makes us feel alive. And so if you don't grow consciously, here's the challenge part. Life will show up and give you something to grow from. And success, fulfillment, aliveness is not one thing you did one time. It's all the little things. It's saying I love you. It's stepping up. It's doing what's right, even when no one else will reward you. Those little things are the things that make you grow. And that growth is what makes you feel alive. Listen, there's only one really set of flaws in the universe. Everything grows or it dies. And everything ultimately contributes or it's eliminated by evolution, if nothing else. So the imperative for you and I is to understand that growth isn't always easy. In fact, the easy stuff rarely makes you grow. Listen, there is no failure as long as you learn something, because that learning leads to growth. That growth leads to something where you can build something, create something, or give something to yourself, others, your family, or to have something that's meaningful. So where are you not growing that you can make some progress on this week? Just tackle one thing. Is it your body? Is it your relationship? Is it your level of happiness? That's growth. Just to find happiness or joy or meaning in difficult situations. Those types of progresses will lead to an extraordinary quality of life. Grow or die. How's that for an uplifting message? <laughs> one way you'll know you're growing is when things that used to be big seem little to you. Give yourself 20, 30 minutes every day. Listen to something that inspires you or read a book, something with philosophy or strategy that can improve the quality of your life, your career, your family, your happiness, your joy, something. Because great ideas have to be pursued. Answers don't interrupt you. They have to be pursued. And if they're pursued with enough, enough focus, enough caring, enough compassion, enough drive, you'll find answers that'll help you to grow. And if you don't, life's gonna challenge you anyway. So why not push yourself out there with some new goals, some new desires that you proactively create that stimulate the growth that make you fulfilled. And instead of expecting the joy lasts forever, just know life is progress, baby. Growth is everything. Growth will give you more to give. And as you give more, you'll love more. You'll love yourself, you'll love your life, and you'll be a source of generous loves to others.